all right boys you guys know what time it is it is the black shadow scarlet time release post kit info impressions and everything all alike first things first uh that is a very fast attack speed and essentially charge speed or charge time for that matter and the biggest thing is wind dps another thing wind savior is wind saved uh based on my calculation or just like rough calculation it very much likely is <laughs> just like how ludmilla saved water this scarlet also saved wind holy crap for first things first like she has an ammo capacity of nine which is pretty huge for a rocket launcher but that also kind of makes sense given of like what she her main effect is right she has a charge time of 0 0.3 seconds so she's get, definitely gonna burn through that ammo capacity really fast does that reload time really matter um actually no not necessarily that two seconds is on the higher end but based on her skill this might not be necessary because she might end up having a build where you will have unlimited ammo similar to um, other characters right now but the difference here is she might be self-sustaining unlimited ammo meaning that she doesn't need any other units for unlimited ammo why is that i'll jump into skill two the skill two whenever you're entering full burst so it doesn't have to be her bursting she will reload 100 of the magazine with 60 percent ammo capacity increase also so yeah it's insane and from what it looks like on the attack speed on this it looks like she was hitting about one ammo per second uh, but it, some people are saying, oh, it, they might be doing it on 30 FPS or whatever it is. Um, based on the 0 0.3 charge time, it should be technically doing more. I would say like 0 0.63. She would she should be doing two shots in like every 1.5 seconds or so. But uh, from what it looks like on the video here, it's like one second per or one shot per second uh i'm just gonna go under the assumption of one shot per second because that what that's what it kind of looked like and it kind of just made some of the calculations a little bit easier one thing though that it, it did say unleashes sword energy for a small attack uh, attack of small range so the range might be a little bit on the lower end on this compared to other rocket launchers so it's probably we're not going to be expecting something like as big as wide as a2 we'll see once she actually comes out because they kind of hit the damage numbers when in here so it's kind of difficult uh and then another thing is the full charge damage is 150 percent only what that means is it's a very low amount compare it to other units right like red hood has 250 percent charge damage and alice has 350 percent charge damage so that's one thing to consider as well and hers is only 150 percent what that means is overloads that are like charge damage might actually see more value to it compared to other rocket launcher sniper rifles so this attack damage is like 57.29 percent of attack damage keep in mind that this attack damage gets multiplied with the full charge damage so it's 57.29 times 1.50 and then if you go to like say alice or red hood if you go to red hood it will show like 69 percent nice and multiplied by 250 percent but it takes like one second for red hood obviously each shot of the scarlet is gonna be on the lower end compared to other rocket launchers or sniper rifles but it does make up because of the fast attack speed and here's some notes that i have um the 0.3 seconds the charge speed it might not be necessary because of the low charge time but there might be a certain threshold of charge speeds where it might end up being like an extra we might end up 
getting like some cutoffs in there because of the rounding on how they do uh, the attack so there might be some <clears throat> and another thing also is for Alice Alice has a skill one that increases the charge speed of the two highest attack unit obviously she is going to be one of them but then the other person is going to be getting an 11.67 percent of the caster's charge speed i talked about it in a previous video i'll try to link the previous video of uh, where i talked about the alice charge speed on that one and the real effects on it but what that means though is basically she has bigger effect against other units that have less charge time than her because her charge time is 1.5 seconds what that means is with 1.5 seconds charge time it is actually reducing like 0 0.17505 seconds of uh charge time speed but then that charge speed time charge time reduction is going to be applied to the other character or to the receiver so if scarlet is one of the receivers of that it actually ends up being equivalent to a 58 percent charge speed buff on scarlet so if you have alice and scarlet together that might end up being so this is what i mean by you know maybe this rounding might end up being like a really big buff on that scarlet so that's another thing and then um there's other things that we kind of looked into there's 0.33 seconds cover in and out um initially i did try to calculate it with 0.3 seconds charge time speed plus 0.33 cover in and out and um scarlet's uh, damage was like insanely huge and i don't know if the screen that they did in here uh is like accurate or is it like 60 fps or maybe or, or whatever it is um but at the very least from what it looked like here it was like one shot per second so it was actually slower in practicality rather than 0 0.63 uh um seconds per shot so i just went with the basic calculation of one shot per second which is uh and from what it looked so this is just kind of like a rough math don't take it uh, take it with a grain of salt but from what it looks like her autos is 252 this that number might not make sense but it, it's all relative so for scarlet it's 252 autos without burst and then with burst it's like 77.38 or 77k.38 so that, that that's the dps difference so the burst just like somehow just insanely increases uh i'm not sure if i did it really properly however um with red hood i did some calculation also this again paper mat uh take it with a grain of salt maybe i made some mistakes but it was like 181 for autos on red hood so Clearly, with the autos already, Scarlet is already coming out on top about roughly 1.5 times in there. And also, the burst is for Red Hood was only 41k. Meanwhile, it's 77k here. Uh, so, it's in both normal attacks and burst against like a boss that's single target obviously we're not calculating pierce or something like that there are some bosses where pierce actually works but then like a rocket launcher doesn't work as an aoe so that that's something to consider as well but she is looking like 1.5 times stronger than red hood i could be overlooking things get your hype down but i want to get the hype down but um it's it, 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 I, I don't know you know i asked mr Kanta also he said he's his number on burst is looking 1.5 times also so it's like okay well there it is okay um <laughs> because i was going crazy at this i was trying to calculate this and i was like there's no way it's that much right um yeah i'm gonna do a more thorough calculation instead of this notepad thing but <laughs> oh shmole holy crap but like 
yeah you guys saw like how red good red it is well here you go you got a you got another one a wind savior right here so uh, looking at it also from the skill basically so how the skill works skill one works is every three times attack it's gonna be 250 every six times 500 and every nine times 750 i would assume that like you know every three three to fifty and then uh, another three would be 500 and another three would be 750 so every nine attacks she would deal you would deal like 1.5 k uh of attack distributed damage and you know, uh, I just I just want to make a side comment. This this is intensely power creep, right? Like within nine seconds, you did 1.5 k percent attack percentage within nine seconds. Um, <laughs> let's look at Brid. <laughs> Every ten seconds, she does 200 percent of final attack damage. <laughs> So, you know, I just I just want to make a side comment of like how power creep this is. It's um it's a little bit insane. Uh you compare it with other units. So <laughs> yeah. depending on how the skill one will scale, obviously, you know, it's it could be level 7 or it could be level 10 because depending on it. And uh it this one this does say distributed damage on the six times and the nine times so what that means is like if there's multiple enemies then it will uh split off the damage against those multiple enemies that are within the the range so within attack range and then this one's affect all enemies so it will hit all the enemies but then it's gonna spread uh them because it's a distributed damage so that's something to pay attention to it's not 750 on each one of them <clears throat> so yeah we got that so skill one could be level seven it could be level 10 depending on the scaling but i you know you want more damage just leave it at 10 right like i feel like uh, a big chunk of her damage does come from here also so based on my the calculation right like the auto attacks are this uh, only one are only 85 and then like the skill is like 166 so a good chunk so of her damage does come from her skill one as well and also considering that her burst will scale the skill one also it's definitely like a level 10 on skill one and then like skill two um this one you might be able to get away with lower skill levels even though it says like max, max ammo and then reload percentage there's a good chance obviously these thing these both of these numbers will scale based on the level but if you probably have like max ammo overloads or like team comp with like bunnies for example then it may not be necessary to get this to level 10 to do that infinite thing but if you know if you want to save your with save some slots from your overloads for charge damage because you know likely it's gonna be uh, elemental damage charge da attack and charge damage but then you might want to mix in some ammo capacity in there uh, then you do want to have like a higher level of skill too just so that you can forego some of the max ammo into that i would say it's um based on the rough estimate i think with bastion it might be possible with one or two overload of max ammo so that might be happening on that for so for unlimited ammo and then the burst skill yeah this one burst skill will just make it so that you are triggering skill one more often and a big huge attack buff so that means that uh you want to bur her to burst and looking at it uh based on the dps you definitely want her to burst because like yeah, that's that's a huge huge dps compared to just like her not bursting so you definitely want her to burst a good chunk of her damage comes from her burst and yeah that's uh that's that's kind of like what i'm seeing right now stronger than red hood but you know maybe i could be overlooking some things uh in actual practical sense i will be testing this when it when she comes out 
I might not be immediately available when that happens. I'll, or I'll probably be available when she comes out. But I have like some family responsibilities uh, when at the day she comes out. So I will be a little bit busy on that one. But I will try to definitely test it on stream. And we'll be testing her. And I wrote down a little bit of some, some of the good units. Litter uh, for ammo. Uh, Alice because litter will buff your ammo alongside and when she when you go on full burst also so that sounds like really good Alice for the charge speed cutoffs probably and the bunnies for maybe unlimited ammo if you don't have any max ammo overload uh, Maxwell obviously just like a pretty strong buffer overall and then or or maybe you could go with wind oriented with guilty or then maybe unlimited demo with diesel guilty or uh yeah i don't know if the skill one will work with mika that's something to test on but if it does then ooh, then you we we might see a mika coming in uh, hmm. so yeah it, yeah if it's a unique stack mechanic i don't know we'll see i'll figure it out all right like we'll figure it out it's not that big of a deal there's no reason to like over um just overthink it but, you know if it does work out then it is but, but if it doesn't then it won't be I, I don't see a reason why we should like sweat it whether she's gonna work with mika or not however her numbers are looking really good and i think wow that yeah we have been really demanding for a win dps and uh this is one looking at and i just want to mention right this is like a dps uh compared to red hood and this is on a single target this is not including if um the parts also i didn't i actually didn't count for parts yet <sighs> so yeah um i mean to be fair red hood is kind of weaker if there is no kind of pierce also compared to like Modernia, right? Like, or Ludmilla. So that's something to consider. But as usual, we, you know, uh, that's, I will test it out. That's about it. Um, let me know what your guys are thoughts on this one. And uh, make sure to uh, check out my Twitch. We're going to be going live on that one once she goes live. And yeah, that's about it.